Well, Aussie actors may have missed out on the chance of an Oscar this year, but on US catwalks, there's no shortage of homegrown talent getting nods of approval. And leading the pack is Melbourne's Abby Lee Kershaw. Sally Obermeter caught up with the girl who turns heads wherever she goes. Looks. Break it. Looks. Abby is one of those girls that I think other girls identify with. And, you know, she's not this aloof, cold, scary ice cream. She has this really great confidence when she walks, too. It's this kind of I don't care attitude. I don't know if, it, if I have a plan B, I'm just waiting for plan A to get bigger. She's the hippie with the million dollar bank account. Over the past two years, Abby Lee Kershaw has climbed to the top of the international modelling industry. Keep your arms in tight to your side, huh? Today, she's back in Sydney shooting a cover story for Australian Vogue. Discovered on a beach at the age of 15, the surf theme is more than appropriate. The most beautiful surfing chick in the world. Um, that's what we're going to try to get in the next couple of days. This is Abby Lee's third Australian Vogue cover. Editor, Kirsty Clements. One of the biggest trends was this kind of scuba swim sexy thing that was going on, Gucci, Versace, Gucci, and Abby was the star of all of those shows. It's crazy, it's a, it's a very fast life. Um, generally spend most of the time on planes at airports and studios at shows, like all over the place. It's a very, it's very fast and there's always something going on. You never really get a time to do your washing, let alone breathe. <laughs> We first met Abby Lee as a schoolgirl six years ago when she won the girlfriend model search. Fast track to December 2007, New York based industry authority models.com hinted she could be a superstar. The site's editorial director, Wayne Sterling. She just reminded me of this like really cool, fresh girl that you could tell clients would love her because it was just so laid back, so relaxed, but at the same time, like, so fashion perfect yeah. that I just felt there's no way that this girl could not hit. In her first overseas season, she was booked by Italy's Gucci as a Milan exclusive. That exclusive turned into six Gucci advertising campaigns. I think it was, like, 200,000 um, fake hand planted flowers into a field in um, Riga in Latvia. It was a huge production. It seemed there was no stopping Abby Lee until she fell in a New York show in these shoes, in the process carrying a knee ligament. Three weeks later she fainted on a Paris runway in this tight corset. Following knee surgery she took the next season off. In September she returned to the runway booking 48 shows, opening and closing Versace and Fendi. But having already been injured by the runway's increasingly extreme footwear, Abby Lee turned down the chance to walk in these shoes. Alexander McQueen, I said no to this season. Hopefully it's going to come back down soon because, I mean, health and safety regulations have <laughs> got to come into place at some point. Noticeably thinner than she was in Australia, what does she think about the pressure at the top of the industry to be ultra thin? That's like asking a bodybuilder how they feel about the pressures to be incredibly muscly. An elite performer is always put under some sort of extreme pressure that the rest of society can, can argue and might not quite understand. What about the nudity? While Abby Lee covered up at 16, she's now posing for some of fashion's stimmiest photo shoots. I find nudity imperative to the expression of fashion. I mean, I'm quite comfortable with saying no. So I don't think I've done anything outrageous. Now 22 and ranked in the world top 10, the big question is, could Abby Lee make it to number one? Perth's Gem Award did it before moving into acting. Models are being turned over so fast now that for a girl to actually have her biggest season yet, two years into her career, is a sign that, you know, one, she's a really good model and two, clients really plan on keeping her for the long run. I don't think that it's changed me um, for better or worse. I'm just, this, I'm just the same person. When, when a camera comes out, I'm, I can be whatever anyone wants me to be, but in the end, I'm just happy.